Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Into the Gungeon Lich Streaks. We're on a streak of 31. 31, or uh, 10,426. Let's roll our D8 to see who we're going to be today. Five. That's great. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's what, oop, that's what I thought it is. They poil it. You know what? Let's rock the standard. I love the alt costume. I love the alt weapon. More than the standard. But you know what? Variety is now going with the standard, you know? Like, now this is now the weird thing to do. This is now the abnormal character. Like, I'm happy that those things are there. Like, don't get me wrong. The new weapons? Neato. They're, like, they're valuable for... I don't know. A floor? <laughs> Relatively? If you're the bullet, it's going to be relevant for, like, the whole game, but, you know. And, I, you know, I really extra like the carrot, too. I don't mind, like, I don't mind that it's a non-serious style costume or weapon or whatever. Doesn't really bother me at all. Doesn't bother me at all. The costume, I, I don't, it's, I don't love it. I prefer to use just the plain old Jane old costume. But I definitely don't hate it nearly as much as it seems like most people do. A couple people like the pink nightmare. I think it's, I think it's nice to use sometimes. It's a sometimes food. That was it. Bad, but then saved. So like, is it really bad then? Yes, it is. It's still bad. Doesn't matter. Still bad. But at least it was saved. It wasn't at least it wasn't like you know those bad on bad actions where you get the you get you're about to get hit, use a blank, but then you get hit anyways by like some kind of contact damage or something. You know how it goes. We know how it is. Everyone's been there. Rito, I haven't. Look at me gloating in the comments section. No, you have. No, but Rito, I actually haven't. I'm doubling down. No. No. Unless you are brand spanking new to the game, no! It's happened. You goof ball. And if it if you don't think it did, it did. Earlier on in your gungeon career, it's happened from time to time. We do it from time to time. Thank you, Tom the Long. Tom the Long. For helping me out with that one there. Do it from time to time. But anyway, let's answer a Discord question early. We, we don't do it this early typically, but, you know, let's get that Discord plug in on there. If you're new to Gungeon, if you picked it up in, like, the uh, the Epic Games store sale or whatever, something of that nature, definitely, definitely check out the Discord. Get yourself some tips for Enter the Gungeon. Also, pop on in to talk about the channel, talk about the game, or to ask a question that I will answer like I'm about to do. Laser asks, what are some games that you might be interested in other than games you normally play? Um, hmm, I, 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 I'll take this question as, are there some games out now that you're interested in playing that you haven't, that you don't have or haven't played yet? That, that's how I'll take that. That that makes sense to me. So I'm going to say... Yeah, I'm, there, there definitely is. I'll just have to like piece together what they maybe are. Uh, you know? I was like, definitely, definitely. But then I'm like, I you know what? I always have the option to play game, like whatever games I want, really. Like, if I want it, I can go out and buy anything. But I don't know. I definitely want to get around to playing Sekiro. I do have it now as a gift thanks to Space Time the God. So I am interested in, in picking that up. That's like, that's been on my shortest of short lists. I just haven't like gotten around to, to playing, like, playing it yet. Whoop. Is mostly that. Other than that, yeah, there's like a couple, a couple games here and here and there, like, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to say anything too much, just in case someone's like, "Yes, definitely play that," and then I don't get around to it. I'm gonna do something novel today and not go to the secret floor as the pilot, because once again, that's actually the novel thing. Because every time we pick the pilot, that run we go to the secret floors.
Like we do the whole shebang. And we'll actually not go. That's going to be the weird thing. Bam! Gotta love the glass cannon. We lost a war to emus. <laughs> Excuse me. Asks, do you play any first-person shooters? Shooters, if so, what? Uh, as of very recent... I haven't really. I'm definitely not opposed to him. I, I played a quite a bit of a, a decent chunk chunk of Overwatch. It's probably the most recent one. You know, it's it's because it's so dank popular and so dank prevalent. But I actually haven't played like too recently. Uh, I played a fair amount of Team Fortress 2 in my days. Uh, I don't know. I first person shooter genre is been always something I like but have never gone deeply, deeply into. I played a little bit of Apex Legends, like back, probably like, honestly, like the second, the second and third week it was out is pretty much the only time I played it. But I just, yeah, I don't know. I like it. And I love games that incorporate first person shooter as kind of like a, a vessel for the mechanics like I really really like Ziggurat a um, it's a first-person shooter roguelike that used to be on my channel it used to be the game like it used to be the Gungeon before before Gungeon Ziggurat was my Gungeon it was meaning like that's what people were there for instead of gun Gungeon Happy to, happy to pl be playing Gungeon, though. Like, the variety is way more present in Gungeon. The replayability and everything way more present in Gungeon. Ziggurat's something I probably would like to go back to. This is so intriguing. Oh, I want money. Okay, don't flip any tables. Don't flip any tables, just in case we do get enough to go with table tech money. Don't flip them tables. No matter what you want to do, don't flip them tables. But, yeah, so like Ziggurat, Borderlands, you know, where, where it, it is a first-person shooter, but it's something else. Like, you usually throw in some, throw in some RNG, or not RNG, well, probably maybe some RNG elements too, but throw in some RPG elements. I'll be into it, probably. Like, uh, Immortal Redneck was another good one, followed kind of like the Ziggurat style formula. That one, uh, that, I did a series on that one too, but I just, like technical issues plagued that one and it not even on the game's fault i don't think i don't i'm not saying the game was at fault for the technical issues but i had technical issues and therefore that's that series had to stop but that is another good first person shooter roguelike uh i never i didn't ever play tower of guns very much i didn't i i didn't really mess around with Mother Gunship either, but those are ones that I would probably be interested in that are first-person shooters, but I feel like aren't the first-person shooters you're talking about. Like, I've never been... I've never really been into Call of Duty. I've never really... Uh, I mean, I would love to have that money, but oh well. What are you gonna do? Unless we get the uh, briefcase full of cash, which I don't think you can get out of a blue chest, even if you're lucky. But yeah, I don't. I've never been into traditional first-person shooters as much. Like I'm, I'm trying to scrape my brain here for a good answer about like the most traditional one I play. But I just really, I don't know. It's just not, not a genre I dabble in the most with. But definitely not one that I'm against either. Like if someone was like, "Hey, do you want to try this?" game it's a first person shooter i wouldn't be like oh it's a first person shooter i probably won't like it i'll be like okay that's just another fact about the game but i don't know oh i i was i used to be i used to be really into halo there we go that's definitely the best answer for most most uh probably like traditional answer that i used to be really into halo around the uh, halo 3 halo 3 time 
God, I was so into Halo 3 when it was out. I, uh, I got into it late because I didn't... I never had an Xbox until the 360. So I got into it really late. Whoop. But... And then 3 was basically where I stopped also. Like, it was, it was my... It was kind of my one and done. I did go back and I played through Halo 1 and 2. Uh, the story modes for them, but... 3 is where I played any kind of multiplayer. Anything of that nature. But, there's a brief period of time where I was super, 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 super into that. Oh, yippee! Yippee! Yippa! Without, like, gold ammo lit, this is... This is like two-thirds of uh, the most insane puzzle. Oh. <laughs> Give me the ability to steal. I desire it so much. If we get the ability to steal on this run, or on this floor, uh, it's going to be a yikes for all the enemies. It's going to be a big yikes for all the enemies. Chaos Amulet would be a prime steal. be delectable delicious nutritious prime steel feel like I should probably just go with the uh, reliable little consistent thing yeah it's a bit slow but it's just it's such a banger anyways is it a banger supreme nah, no definite banger though definite banger yoink Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Wait, this one's being buffed, but it's not jammed. Not actually jammed. Or maybe it was actually jammed, it just didn't look like it. Strange. Okay, don't, don't, don't. Save the money. We just, like, stand here and flip our tables. We did that pretty sloppily, but that could have been... In theory, that could have been an amazing little play right there. It wasn't. I know it wasn't. Oh, come on. We could totally lockpick this, but... I don't know. Last, like, last resort is kind of where I like to leave lockpicking. Now that we have two keys, there's very, very little reason to lockpick. It's kind of just to see if you can get away with it, like, kill a man just to watch him die kind of level. Like, that's just, just want to see the world burn, you know? Why would you do that? Why do it if you don't have to? I mean, yes, it's a blue it's a blue chest, you know, whatever. Blue chests have a value sometimes. They're not my favorite. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to bat for them forever. But I feel like we can probably we're probably not gonna get enough money to get the amulet on this floor anyways. I desperately would like the ability to steal. Oh yeah, yeah. Stupid, stupid, stupid two items. I don't know. Is the charm charm bow technically good on paper? Yeah, it is not bad, but it's also like It just Just doesn't do it for me Doesn't do it for me. Oh my god. We flipped the table so it went the wrong way flip the table so it went the wrong way This is so stinking sloppy. Like, it's working, don't get me wrong, but God, it's weird. Like, with all this strength and the fact that it's piercing, we could even be shooting through the tables. It's just, it's so strange. What a weird build we've got going on already. Look at all the keys. I felt them keys. Can you feel the keys tonight? I felt them in my heart. Alright, well, 
We take the Holy Grail, because that's just what we do here. That's just what we do here. I'm gonna throw it off randomly, okay. The Pun Overlord asks, have you tried any exotic foods? Like worms or bugs or something? I am very unadventurous with food. I have been very unadventurous for my whole life with food. But, and now with the additional, like, I have, I, God, I, people are gonna do this stinking thing where it's like, no, n nobody, or every, everybody, or, and then it does the, the colon, and then you leave a blank, and then it goes, Rito, I'm a vegetarian. I just like, because I mention it because of a very relevant question. Every, I was never veg, or uh, I was never adventurous before I was a vegetarian, and now I'm like, now I have the extra cop out. Like, if I wouldn't, if I'm not eating meat, why would I even eat? Why would I eat bugs? You know, it's, it's like, it, it's the easiest cop out I can possibly say. It's like, if I'm not even gonna eat a burger, why would like, why would I eat bugs? You know, so I I have that extra cop out of being even less adventurous. You know, so. Not, I just, God, I can't even remember, like, the most adventurous, I've just never been adventurous with food, so I just don't even, I don't even have an answer. I don't even have an answer. That's how little, like, I, I never even would try seafood, like, and then until I, like, eventually, well, because I had, like, a couple sea, seafood-related things that I didn't like, and I was like, I'm never gonna try any kind of seafood. And like I didn't even like just any kind of fish, so I wasn't gonna be like, okay, now I'm gonna try octopus, you know, like, which is like would have would have been adventure adventures by my standards, but is very normal by a lot of other people's standards. So it's just like I don't know, very little adventuring has been done in the food front. I ate. Uh, there was one time where I was. No, I was, I wasn't directly dared, but I was kind of dared to uh, eat some cheese curds that had been that had been sitting out in a car for probably over 24 hours. That's pretty adventurous, not in like a you know, not in a smart way. And I was totally fine. Let this be a lesson, kids. It'll always be fun. No. Okay, I really thought that was a secret room. I was, I was like dead confident. No, do not get that lesson. Lesson take back. It probably won't be fine. Oop. When you're when you're younger, you're you're more uh I feel like your stomach's more malleable too. If I did it now, I'd feel it for weeks. So I guess that's adventurous, question mark. It's stupid is probably the main thing I'd say about it. But, okay. Important thing to note about them being left out in the car, too. To make it even stupider, it was, it was hot. It was very hot. Like, they were sitting in the sun for overnight. Or, like, I mean, obviously not, there's no sun at night, but they were sitting in the sun overnight next day more sun more cheese curds getting sun upon them you know gorgon's gaze curse ceramic curse the show hey, oh shh. where's the curse ceramics see i i got confused because i thought i was feeling pot shots that is disastrous right there i hate this this is just a friendly reminder why I really don't like curse mode. Or cursed mode? The cursed mode that is challenge mode. What a mess. What a mess. Cat cloth. We take those. We take those. Alright, well. We're making pretty good time. As I jump into the pit while I take my drink. We weren't, we're still making good time. We're just down an, an extra half heart now. Doesn't do anything about changing our time, really. Pop. Blah. 
I have to sneeze desperately. Desperately twice. <laughs> Whoops. I apologize immensely. Profusely. Why is everything full? We've been hit that that many times. Are you serious? That ain't good. That ain't good. We can really probably just play around with this pretty freaking freely. What? We get hit, we get half the ammo back? Credit mark? Credit mark? Something like that. Is it worth buying a blank? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Is there even a blank for sale? There's not even a blank for sale. I might want the barrel. The drill is kind of like a, a little overkill at this point. I'm like, I'm like leaning towards barrel, but we'll see. We'll see what we get here. Oh. Thank you, tables. We might stop him here. He doesn't care about my tables. Ah. Ah, I thought for sure that worked because uh, Shadow Clone. Why does Shadow Clone stop him? But the tables don't. That makes no sense. Shadow Clone is literally a shadow and it still stops him, but my tables don't? That's pretty confusing, man. I don't know about that one. I would like that health refunded, please, because I don't know about that one, Mr. Mr. Man, Mr. Wallman. By the barrel. Probably unnecessary. Anything we want to sell? Sell a little bit of that. I'm pretty cool with the rest of our guns. At this point, unfortunately, the mustache has value for us right now. I'll sell this. I'll sell it and regret it. But yeah, mustache mustache has value. Because we can heal ourselves. Sure. There we go. It's effectively buying two hit, two hits. Probably should have sold this to be honest. I'm not really a fan of it. Get bopped, losers! No! No, I'm the loser. Leave me alone. Oh, the freeze with this, though. Yeah, okay. We take that. I don't think so. I don't think so. At least we have that blank there that can't be stolen. Where you at? Where you at? Bow! Oh, I thought. Bow. Now bow. Schmauz out. Kind of want to get hit with a different gun. Just so we can, oh my goodness, get the ammo back in this. Because I just like using it. Nope. Oh. Tables are so small. So small. We even left. Okay. Get out of my swamp. And into my car. 
just get that out of there so we can get the the three charges blowing up again Yoink. I don't care who you are. You gotta admit, that was a pretty smooth two floors right or two two rooms right there. I don't care who you are. That was slick. Cause doing it with doing it with a gun, where if you take damage, you you know you lose all the ammo too. That that's a little extra too, don't you think? You can actually use the. Uh, tables even as like an actual legitimate blockade too so I thought on fire on fire don't care who you are you gotta admit that was not slick I'm on fire I want to take damage I want to take more damage get that health back Pop them. No. No. You're frozen, sir. That's illegal. Wait, that's illegal. You can't do that when you're frozen. Don't trust. I had something about that one. I, I just didn't trust it. Hidden tech bees, buckos. We got bees for bees for bees for days. You know? Let's see what we get. Is this a higher tier than, uh, than Shades? I think so. I just wanted to put in two... Mid mid high tier. I am so sick of the stinking stinger. I feel like it's the thing I get out of that machine half the time. It is just like, it's just not as good as I once thought it was. I mean, gun dropping obviously makes it a bit better. Also, it fits our B theme, our beam 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 theme. Feeling it. Okay. I felt wrong. Felt it wrong. Bad feel. I Means working okay with the frost bullets and everything, you know. A little extra value when you can get that guaranteed freezing. Well, don't have to be as accurate either. Also a good deal. Tip the bees. Don't think you're gonna like this one, Mister. What revolvent? Is that what they're called? Revolvent. Oh, he got pushed by the treadmill. The treadmill. I think, as I call it, as a kid, I'm pretty sure. EBs! Can they go through the walls? Because otherwise that was pretty stinky. Bleep, bleep. Brap, brap, that's the sound of the bees. It's the sound of the poor bees. Don't even need to hit the enemies. I should, though. Don't get me wrong. I should. But I don't need to. <clears throat> it's a bonus to actually hit the enemy, you know? You can't expect it. Right? Right? Right. <laughs> it's on purpose. What's the reason for it? It's for ammo purposes, obviously. There we go. That's it's for ammo. Duh. Duh. I told you I wanted ammo back in this thing. 
You just didn't realize how much. Oop. Science can. It's just not that into you. It's just not that great. It's not... It's not trash. But it's not far from trash. It ain't great. Get all them bees. Look at them bees. Okay. Kind of want both. Oh, Shadow Bolts. We got a synergy with... Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. It ain't bad. It ain't bad. Where was this chest? Okay. Save for later. Alright, well, at least we're gonna... Wait, what's the synergy here? Is it not... One of the two obvious ones? Is there a third one? Mm. It was the glass guan stone. I thought it was with the black pistol. This just shoots some uh, shoots some RPGs every once in a while now. Makes it pretty slick. Maybe it makes it so like any shot that is supposed to be a shadow bullet shot actually shoots out an RPG, which is a good synergy. If it you know if that's what it is, it's a good synergy. It's like bum bullets ex. Get all them bees going. This is pretty nice. We can be like effectively unkillable from bullets. Whoa, if we would have taken a hit there, that would have been sad. Sad news, man. All right, we got all kinds of tables. Pow. I think that's all our tables. Oh, but they're still gonna explode. Do their thing like that. Oh, no, no. Garbage, garbage, garbage. That was so bad. We would have done more damage just leaving the uh, Mr. Shadow or whatever. Uh-oh. Okay. I relied on my tables when I probably shouldn't have there. But we're all good. All right, round two. We're going we're gonna to do it. Okay. There. It was very challenging. Pop on over. We don't really need to worry about any kind of health. One shot of getting the pitchfork. No reason not to buy key. Unless we randomly get, like, gilded bullets out of a chest on the next floor. And if that happens, you know what? Fair play, game. Fair freaking play. Kagan slash... Goody, goody lord asks, what do you think the unused character Cosmonaut would have played like if they were in the game? Uh, I always kind of got the vibe that the unused, those unused characters were going to be kind of like playing around with the curse mechanic a little bit, maybe. Just from the fact that they had cursed scripted on them. But I don't know if that was just like a dev, like a dev debug mode kind of thing. Like they just always wanted to see how the characters would interact with a little bit of curse on them. Could totally be that too. I wouldn't be surprised if that was if the devs were like, oh yeah, no, they weren't gonna have curse. They weren't gonna have curse. That's just something we had on there to like test out. 
just, you know, just, just to see how having a little bit of curse works. But, I don't know, yeah, I got the vibe that they were going to be cursed, maybe slightly more difficult characters. Uh, I don't think, may, maybe you would, maybe the Makarov was indeed going to be his starter, if so, you know, like, pretty cool deal there. Other than that, you know, he was a, kind of like an astronaut type man, maybe, uh... I don't know, maybe they could have done something, I don't know that it would be good, maybe they could have gone with something playing around with the uh, low gravity aspect of, you know, space, something s kind of more a more floaty dodge, would probably be awful, but uh, maybe, 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 maybe. God, I love I love the design of the cosmonaut though. I really genuinely do. Genuinely do. Bop, 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 bop. Did that bounce off the table? The, the unflipped table. Let's get the bees going. I know we could use that smarter. But I want to use it harder. I want to be aggressive with my, with my bees. Hard to use bees as a weapon and not use them in an aggressive manner, though, I suppose. Running out of a little bit of ammo here. Gonna want... To... What happened to my third table? I guess the guy just ran into it and blew up. I was gonna say, kind of wanted to get here to get a little bit of ammo back, but uh, didn't mean to have it happen that quickly. A little suspicious, Rito. Are you sure? I don't know. Sometimes I don't even know. Get him with them bees, slap him with them bees. Get him with that passive aggressive bee action. You know, just passive aggressively unleashing a swarm of bees on somebody, you know? Like for when you just really can't talk about your problems. But you want the bees to do the talking. Excuse me. Okay. On with the show. Nope. Don't go. And back to something else. Cat Claw is good and everything. Like, extra good for, like, bosses. Or pretty pretty darn good for bosses. But not as good for room clear, I don't think. At least not in bullet hell. Just because it's, it's a little bit slower. Like, the damage is good. Like, the DPS is there. It's not, not shabby. But it's just, it's a little slow. Which always matters, you know? It matters in a game like this. This is a slow gun, too, in a way. Hey, oh! This is a disaster waiting to happen. At least we got bees, too, though. And the beam does go through the table. Interesting. Shoot. Sick the bees on him one at a one at a time here. Please. 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 Belize. Navidad. <laughs> Got all kinds of like that was a that was a journey right there. That sentence. We almost threw. We almost done it to him. Flip all the tables prematurely, because why not? The only enemies that are going to be left on this room are going to be the ones that... Bees... Yeah, who cares? Stupid. Did it for the ammo, did it for the ammo, did it for the ammo. Always, always, always. Whenever I get hit and I have Holy Grail, it was for the ammo, obviously. What else would it be for? Why else would I want to take damage? Pokemon. 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 I feel the boss. I feel the boss. I was right. All right, let's uh, let's end this <laughs> this man's whole career. 
We're messing it up, though. I I'm, like, a lot closer than I want to be. Not that it really matters. We can just flip all them tables, and then there's just a million bees. And that's that. Bing. Yes. <laughs> How? How did I do it? How can he do it? Any tables left? Kind of. Oh, that was pretty slick. No. You want to do all the tape, put down all the tables at the same time, though, so that you can start charging up again really quickly. Let's see, look at that. That's how you abuse this item. So charges again. We will in a moment. Beep. Get him, B boys. Kind of impressed when I hit, actually managed to hit him with this thing. When he's doing that move, it's pretty slick. And this combo is insane. Easy money. We're on a streak of 32 now. We're on a streak of 32 now, which is quite. Nice. What's notable about that number? I'm not really sure, but it's notable because it's the uh, it's the number of lich kills that Rito has in his lich streak on YouTube right now. That's why it's noble. But that is gonna do it for today. Subscribe for daily Enter the Gungeon videos and more. Follow on twitchtv retromation to catch me streaming games live. Join the Discord to ask questions that'll be answered in the video, or to learn about Enter the Gungeon, learn how to play the game a little bit better, or get, just get help, or just share share what's going on in your run, stuff like that. Link in the description down below. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.